Hello there, everybody. This is General Snivy, and welcome back to more of the Earthbound Blind playthrough. In today's session, we're going to be heading off to the next town and a brand new adventure. And I forgot to turn on freaking Audacity again. <laughs> I even have the freaking program open, too. So, whoops. <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun turning this into captions. But, anywho. Let's go ahead and get things going, get underway, and head on out. Um, after I make a safe state, more of a just-in-case procedure. Well, then again, the safe state I just loaded, uh, I think it'll be fine. So, we're good. We're good. Bit of a false alarm there, but that's totally okay with me. Okay. Now, from what we were told in the end of the last stream, um, we were told to head south and head towards uh, the town that's located down south. Which, uh, according to the map, is to Threed. <laughs> Threed. What kind of name is that? Kind of like asking yourself what kind of town name is on it. Eh, whatever. Let's just, uh, let's just go. Hmm. Anyway, uh, earlier this morning, uh, when I woke up, uh, I was greeted not by this hippie here. Rather, rather that I was greeted by a truckload of snow and we're only going to be getting even more. And Paula is now level 6. Offense went up by 2, speed by 1, vitality by 1, IQ by 1. Maximum HP by 10, PP by 4, and Paula realized the power of Psychic Shield Alpha. Excellent. <laughs> well, we're slowly yet surely getting Paula up to speed. It's going to take a little bit of time considering the fact that uh, we have quite a lot of work to do. Ness is at level 20 and Paula is only at level 6. So she is 14 levels behind Ness. <laughs> And it's only going to get crazier from here. Oh, skip sandwich. Anyway, uh, back to what I was saying earlier. Whoa! Hello there, creepy lady. Um, <laughs> cranky lady. <laughs> Great name. Anyway, um, as I was mentioning before, um, I woke up to a truckload of snow. And I had to wake up roughly, uh... About 10 minutes uh, earlier than usual because the plow guy who plows our apartment complex, he decided to show his face. So, in other words, he pl he plowed the parking lot. And I had to move my vehicle, or more or less the vehicle my mother and I share, in order to uh, make it so he can plow our spot, our parking spot. 2-3 tunnel to the town of Threed. It's just a hunch, but I think the ghosts in the tunnel don't like anything upbeat and cheerful. When I was driving in the tunnel, I was playing some groovy tunes and the ghosts moved slower. I think the ghosts can't stand anything positive. Huh. Well, that's pretty interesting, because I had an orange box from Orange Kid that I played. It played a song and then broke. So, that was kind of my bad. And god damn it, of course he caught up with us. <laughs> eh, whatever. Let's just get rid of this retro hippie right here and now. Bada bing, bada boom. Now that I look at the way experience is uh, distributed between the uh, party members, it kind of works like experience share in the Pokemon games, where. One Pokemon uh, fights, and uh, normally they would get all the experience, but uh, the experience is then divided between all party members and the entire team. Seems like the same also holds true for here. Alright, Paula reached level 7. Offense by 1, IQ by 1, maximum HP by 2, PB by 5, and that's it. Huh. Anyway, the reason why I'm heading back towards Orange Town... Not Orange Town, what? Uh, Twanson Town is because, well, I kind of want to see if I, 
and get another one of those boxes from Orange Kid. Or I can't. I already screwed that up. Dang it, man. Well, that sucked. <laughs> man, god damn it. Oh well. Ah. And at this point, the uh, bicycle basically becomes useless. All but useless, since uh, we only have, uh, we have more than one party member, and you can't even uh, ride a bicycle when you have a teddy bear with you, so <laughs> that makes things even better. Huzzah! <laughs> okay. Back to what I was saying, uh, just a little mo few moments ago. Anyway... There's a lot of snow out there, and we're going to be getting even more snow over the course of uh, today and this evening. And from what I've read a few days ago when it was being uh, predicted, we're supposed to receive anywhere from 10 to 20 inches of snow. That is a lot of freaking snow. So much. Woo, woo, woo! Go back, go back! Bite me! Ooh, ooh, go back, go back! Why? Uh, is this really all they say? Well, that stunk. <laughs> Okay, so if I have to guess, you want to avoid being touched by the ghosts or being captured by them because it seems as though, uh, it seems as though there's nothing really I can do because I screwed myself over big time. Oh, man. I hope I didn't softlock myself by uh, breaking that music box early on. Because it seems like that's exactly what happened. Since I broke the music box by Orange Kid, um, I can't get through this tunnel now. There's no way to get past these ghosts. They're just going to keep going, woo, go back, go back. Unless there's something here I can use. Uh, Hand-Aid. Handmade Band-Aid heals your wounded body going after one use. Okay, maybe there's something else I can use. The exit mouse, you can use it in uh, tunnels, caves, etc. And it'll just take you right to the entrance of where you came from. Maybe if too many ghosts uh, appear on screen, that'll be when the rest of them show up. I have no idea. I have no idea how this is supposed to work. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much shit out of luck. Don't like anything upbeat and cheerful. When I was driving in the tunnel, I was playing some grooving tunes and ghosts moved slower. Okay. Again, they can't stand anything positive. That's the key for the tunnel there. But the thing is, I don't have anything really that positive to work with here. The only thing I have is a bicycle, which I can't use. 
and that the orange kid's invention I used earlier with the pencil thing, it broke after one use. So I completely screwed myself, and it looks like I'm gonna have to start over the entire playthrough just because of one simple freaking mistake. I have no goddamn idea. Um, sure? <laughs> Which one do you like, yes or no? That's too funny. Okay, maybe there's something I'm completely missing. A lot of old broken junk, but I hate to throw anything away. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I already talked to you. Never mind. Hmm, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I could try something else. The soundstone, I don't think plays anything, though I can always try using that. Or I may uh, have to try using something else to make something work here. Seriously, I feel like I'm completely stuck. <laughs> Annoying old party man. Uh, sounds like he's, uh, kind of wasted. <laughs> no, seriously, that's what he perfectly sounds like, fitting his description and everything. Okay, hey, that's just, uh, my observation. Just on some of the enemies around here, other than the creepy people who just, uh, are of a different shade of gray. <laughs> Well, no, they're not gray. They're more like blue people. Yeah, avoid the blue people like the plague. <laughs> okay, let me try something. Okay, uh, a lot of bills. They can't stand anything positive. Let's touch the stone to its forehead, gather his thoughts. Okay, maybe that helped? No, they're still moving just as fast as they ever did before. Seriously, how am I supposed to get past here? The ghostly tunnel that you can't get past because of a simple goddamn mistake. Seriously, why can't I just fight these ghosts? Or just, uh, run away in a better way? It's like, no matter how fast I go, they always catch me. Unless there's some sort of button combination I'm missing that allows me to run like a freaking madman. I don't know what else I can do. Maybe I need to push like a A and B in order to run? No? No? That just brings up the map. Okay. Oh, come on! Again with these people? Oof! Well, shit. Paula's dead. Actually, never mind. She just barely lived. And she's now level 8. Okay. Offense by 2. Defense by 1. Speed by 2. Guts by 2. Luck by 2. Maximum HP by 3. PP by 1. And realize the power of Psychic Thunder Alpha. Nice. <laughs> Well, at least we're slowly yet surely getting Paula to getting her caught up up to speed and everything. <sighs> Use Paula. Well, thankfully, if uh, any other party members that are behind you 
eat a skip sandwich, it affects all party members, so that's pretty nice. Still sucks that the can't get anything from Orange Kid anymore because the two hundred dollars I wasted on his invention, which is a piece of crap, I used thinking that I would need to use it for progression reasons. And it turns out I needed it for this frickin' tunnel. Maybe. I have no idea. I mean, all it did was just play a crappy tune and then it just broke. Instantly. Like, what the hell? Ugh. Oh, man, this is just so annoying. Please use the $10,000 any way you wish. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that $10,000 is placed into my bank account. Because it seems like that's not really the case. It's not put into my pocket. <laughs> Neat. There we go. He's done. Alright. Maybe I need to do something else. Like, something to do with these uh, musicians that are stuck playing in the band. I mean, stuck in the theater. I really have no idea. I'm sure I'll be able to figure this out eventually. Well, Burglin Park may sound like the most dangerous place in the world, it honestly isn't. Hey, you came, Paula. Then you deserve a present, Playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. Ooh, nice. Uh, let's try showing off the water bills. Nothing happened. <laughs> oh my, what's this? Pictures taken instantaneously. Oh, cool. You're here. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks for the photograph. If I have to guess, the photographs are probably going to affect the end of the game. Who knows? Hello, please present your ticket. Alright. Sounds good. There you go. Hurry, you're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Alright, let's check it out. Wow. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I get sweat or spit on me from the Runaway 5. <laughs> Interesting. I'm changing my clothes now. Don't come in. That would make sense. Runaway 5 are going to be a world famous band someday. I believe it. I just farted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ew. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. <laughs> Very funny. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to just keep talking to people until the show begins? Who knows? What are you, the owner's kids or something? <laughs> Uh, funny. Okay. That wasn't very useful. Do you like baseball? Yeah. I knew it. Your cat gave it away. Like, lucky of the Runaway 5 to 
told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please? Please? I could pose as your sister. Yes, this rocks. <laughs> this rocks. Let's go. Oh, my heart is pounding. Okay. Cool. Hey, boys. How's it going? Shadow whoop dee ya. Shadi doo bee boo -a. I got those debt blues. <laughs> If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It may be rusted out. Well, good news for you, my friends. Here you go. Don't try to use your play money here, kid. Oh my gosh. That's not real money, is it? Wow! Okay. Well, yeah, in the old days, there was a lot of dancers and actor, acts in this theater. Except now, we're the only one. We only act playing here. We even gone into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. The folks at Twanson enjoyed the Runaway Five show for quite a few years. It took quite a te It looks quite to me. Ah, okay. So then, do I present you with the $10,000? Well, hello, you got cash and some nice stuff to boot. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. I'm so excited, I might just wet myself. My heart is going pitter patter. <laughs> I wrote the lyrics of the most runaway five songs money that's what i want money that's what is hot money that's what i want money that's what we ain't got set freedom 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 is what we've really sought <laughs> nice song sounds kind of familiar wow ten thousand dollars i can make another song now ten g's ten g's these dollars baby dollars yeah 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 <laughs> Uh, okay. What was that? Okay, just a notification saying that someone I follow just went live. Hey, you get to see our show, you lucky kid. Hope you pay attention. Speaking of paying, can I pay you the damn 10000 If you give him a chance, the theater manager, manager will cheat you out of your money. <laughs> hey... You gotta see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. Wait, I thought I just spoke to this guy. I want some bread. I need some. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. What if I would drop it though? You shouldn't throw the wad of bills away. That would make sense. Okay. Well, I'm basically talking talk to every single freaking person in here, and I've basically shown everyone the freaking wad of cash I have. Except you. Here. Nothing happened, of course. Perhaps, uh, I need to head out of here? And that was exactly what I have to do. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater Soul Men coming at ya. Rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five. And here they come. Oh yeah, baby. I need a drink.
I wonder what song this is. Sounds kind of funky. I like it. Awesome! Wow, that was a great show. That truly was a great show, man. Come in quick, don't be shy. So, what do you think? Do you want to see one more show? Um, I think I'm good here. So our sound is too much for you, right? I figure as much. Huh. Mr. Poochifun, the manager, is looking for you. I wonder what he wants. Okay. Let's see the manager then. And it looks like uh, we get another show. <laughs> because I said, yeah, let's listen to another show. <laughs> I guess you can listen to this as many times as you want. So long as you're here within this part of the game. But I kind of want to move on here so I can go to the next town. And maybe even find a new friend or something. But I'm kind of stuck. And there's no way to skip this either. So, <laughs> uh, kind of wish there was a way for me to fast forward through this, but nope. <laughs> because I screwed up. I screwed up like a freaking goober. That's what caused me to sit through another show. But either way, at least we get another viewing of the Runaway 5 again. As I continue to wander around and try to figure out where the hell it is I'm supposed to go. <laughs> and trust me, folks, we'll figure it out in time. We'll figure it out. That's for sure. And thankfully, it's not like the song lasts 10 million years. It only lasts for about a minute. <laughs> but uh, speedrunners, this would probably be a freaking nightmare. Just use the time to read more donations, if necessary. Uh. Oh, pardon me. Okay, so I hear the managers in here. The Runaway 5 owe me a lot of money, blah, 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 blah. Let's try one of the bills. Excuse me. What's that you got there? Let me take a look real close. Look. Okay. Maybe I need to get closer to him. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the Runaway 5 are free to leave. I got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? The little nippers took us from a nightmare to a dream. How? This means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? And Runaway 5 are free to leave. I got no complaints now that I have my money. <laughs> okay, so if I have to guess, the, the only way we're going to be getting to the next town now is by the bus. Let's go to 3. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Do you want to ride? Yes, please. Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. Runaway 5 tour bus. Let's hop on. Okay, guys, here we go. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. <laughs> Be sure not to hit any animals along the way. All right. At least now we can uh, just funky our way through. 
Okay, so, uh, I guess I didn't need Orange Kid's invention after all. Huh. That's pretty neat. I just needed to do the... I needed to free the Runaway 5 from uh, their crappy venue. So that is awesome. Awesome to see. Bye bye, ghosts. I may not be afraid of no ghosts, but uh, these assholes just forced me to stop me dead in my tracks. <laughs> All right. We're here! Welcome to Three Town! And my god, this place looks gloomy as crap! <laughs> looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. No kidding! But I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Aw, thanks, man. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be seen at some theater in Foreside. Wow, Foreside? That sounds awesome. Uh, speaking of the naming conventions, I've noticed that the town names are in numeric order. There's on it, which is one. Uh, tw Twanson, I guess that's two. This is three. And four side is the fourth town. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I didn't catch that until just now. Alright. Well, let's go check out the pizza parlor. That sounds like a happy-go-lucky place. Oh, really? You had to take a piece of pizza from your own workplace. While you're on duty. That sounds like the best idea ever. Not! No, seriously, what the actual F is that about? No idea. Okay, let's check out the drugstore. We'll see what you got. Minor league uh, bat, a thick frying pan, a hard hat, uh, insectable spray, and a copper bracelet. Hmm, huh. neat. Okay, um, I'm going to need to do some major math here, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need at least a grand. <laughs> okay, maybe not that much. Okay, let's see. $3.99 plus $1.98 plus $2.98. That would be $895. Of course, in order to get everything here. Withdrawal. Yeah, well, let's just take out the grand. One G is all I need. And that was not an intentional rhyme. Um. Oh. I... <laughs> Don't have hardly any room left. Well, that doesn't really help. Okay. Let's call Escargo Express. Big bro, it's me, Tracy. Yeah, I know. Thanks, man. I kind of need you right about now. Alright, just gotta wait for Escargo Express, so that way we can uh, pay for the pickup fee. Escargo Express delivery charge is $18. <laughs> Alright. First off, I want you to take this bicycle off of my hands. Next, uh, I want you to take this... Uh, Backstage pass, which I don't think I'll be needing anymore. And, uh, let's see. I think I will have you take, uh, this ruler here. Bicycle, backstage pass, and ruler. Yes, this is correct. Thank you very much.
All right, let's go ahead and buy everything we need. Uh, yes. 52 to 63. Yes, buy this from me, please. Thank you very much. All right. Next up is the thick frying pan. That would be for Paula. Offense changed from 21 to 31. Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, next we're going to buy a hard hat for Paula. Ness already has a hard hat, but uh, Paula unfortunately did not. So here you go, here's your home hat, and we're good here. What do you have for sale, my friend? Let's see, cold remedy... Vinyl Serum, Refreshing Herb, a Toothbrush, and a Calorie Stick. I have no idea what these things do. So, I think I'm good here for the time being. Now then. Let's view the town map and see what we need. It looks like the town is not that big. However, it is quite a gloomy place to be. There's definitely the food stall, and there's also the hotel here. So that may be worth uh, worth checking out. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and check out the hotel, which is over here on the very top of town. Welcome to the circus. <laughs> oh, wow. The circus is in town. Who knew? Well, then. Let's call Dad, then. $254 into the account. Alrighty. Record my data. It seems like we uh, didn't really defeat that many enemies, but uh, in actuality, we did quite a bit, and that I'm pretty happy with, though there's still a lot of work to do. Be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Okay. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. There may be grave robbers or, uh, other strange people just roaming around the place. It may be, uh, may be pretty dangerous to go over there, but it sounds like that's where we're going to need to go to next. And so, uh, before I head out to my next destination, I'm going to deposit some money. I have $192, so let's go ahead. There we go. Just got $50 left into the account, left in my pocket. So that way, if we do end up kicking the bucket, we won't have to worry too much about it. Let's go ahead and check out the circus. The circus sounds like a fun place. How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, uh, I just don't know. Wait, there are zombies? Why don't we get all the zombies in the tent and then set it on fire? <laughs> we may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. Okay, so maybe that's the reason why this place is so gloomy. Because it's infested with zombies. <laughs> Blame the Umbrella Corporation. Maybe they're the reason why this town is infected with a zombie outbreak. The zombies are slowly advancing towards the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move. Oh my. I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Well then. <laughs> At least now we have a better understanding of what's going on here. It seems as though this entire town has a zombie problem. I won't say anything to you adults, but I would stress to you, young kids, don't play for more than two hours. Anything excessive is no good. Parents op op opposing obsession plan. Huh. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Same sort of thing goes on uh, in-game as well. So if you play for more than two hours and your father comes, buzzes in and says... Uh, yeah, maybe you should take a break now. 
Okay, so first off, we have this trick-or-treat kid. Not really much of a zombie. He's more of, like, supposed to be the Headless Swordsman from, uh, Ichabod Crane. Want to escape to the beach? If this is your big dream, come to Carolyn's Beach in the Summers. Summers Tourism Bureau. Huh, that's pretty neat. Is this the place right here? It certainly looks like it. No one is here now. Ooh, what's this place? Yeah, I worked for the zombies, but I betrayed them too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gius, who I heard might be female. Well, I'm not really sure whether Gius is male or female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? Uh, how do you know so much about what's going on here? You're strange. How can you smile like that in a dangerous place like this? Well, maybe we want to keep positive. Have an upbeat, uh, glass half full personality, you know? You don't want to be all sad and cry all the time. Also, zombie dog. <laughs> hmm. And that's exactly what it is. A zombie dog. <laughs> Creepy. Oof. Well, crap. Paul is dead. Damn it! Screw you! Really? You had to frickin' dodge? There! Return to dust in the earth. Well, that was, uh, pretty... Pretty damn uh, devastating. At least uh, Ness is now level 21. Luck, luck by 1. Maximum HP by 3. And that's it. Wow. Talk about a crappy level up. Alrighty. Well now. Since Paul unfortunately bit the freaking dust again. Uh, at least the hospital's down this road. So at least we're not that far from it. So we can bring her back from the dead no problem. We may not have health insurance, but damn it, we have the power to revive the dead. <laughs> uh, Paula. $120? Seriously? <laughs> it seems like the more uh, people die, the more expensive it is to uh, bring back your friends from the dead. So that is pretty damn lame. Okay, then. Uh, well, that sucks. At least the hospital's not too far from the drugstore. And with every drugstore, there is always an ATM. Okay. Let's go ahead and withdraw the money and bring Paula back from the grave again. <laughs> God, she is so... So freaking underleveled, it's not even funny. There you go. I'm so glad that you recovered. Come back anytime you need. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that was definitely something. <laughs> That's for sure. Our first real zombie encounter. And here comes number two. Hopefully this time, uh, Paula will actually survive to tell the tale. Along with Ness. Ow! Well, crap. Damn it. Wow, that sucked. Yeah, give it another shot. Well, uh, let's see. Whoopee, I'm back, but, uh, dying does not help at all. Uh, well, there went another 999 US dollars. <laughs> uh, 
a hundred and twenty freaking dollars down the drain just to bring back Paula. So, so far I had to spend two hundred and forty dollars in the span of five minutes. Not even that, just to bring back Paula because of how under leveled she is. Sure, I can always go and grind some and bring her up to speed, but uh, I didn't really have time to do that today. So that kind of sucks. Kind of have to work with what I have for right now. Here you go. Okay. Oh, really? Really? Handsome Tom and his cohorts. They're nothing but puppets on strings. <laughs> Sounds like a typical businessman working for a corporation. Oh, really? You had to uh, decrease Paula's defense. And she's already frail as is. So stupid. Oh, dear. Mm, Paula's asleep. Of course she is. Okay, at least, uh, Paula's now level 9, so at least she's about halfway there. Uh, uh, halfway there between her and Ness, so that's pretty good. Let's see, her IQ went up by 1, maximum HP by 2, maximum PP by 4, and that's it. Pretty important stats, but still, pretty nice to see. Aw, oh, man, I have no freaking PP, seriously. Uh, what about, uh, Paula? Doesn't she have any sort of recovery? She does not. Dang it. Well then, I'm probably gonna have to withdraw even more money so that way I can go to a freaking hotel and sleep. Granted, I could've gone to the hotel's ATM. So, let's, uh, go ahead and withdraw. Let's say $200, because hotels are becoming more and more expensive to stay at, depending on the pro progress that you made in the game. Like, seriously, holy crap. Even staying at the same hotel costs way more than it did before. I'm dead freaking serious when I say this, too. It's actually true. Let's see, Sunset Hotel, one night stay is $120. Of course. Okay, at least with that, we're back up on our feet again. We're fully healed and we're good to go. S sir, are you going out? The guest's newspaper that was delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie he Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what it was in it. Destroy the humans, hold the town for our glory, and for the glory of our master. <laughs> oh dear. Well, well then, uh, I guess that's going to be the next big thing that we're going to have to take care of. Uh, oh my god. Why can't A be the scan option? Instead, it just brings up the menu. Alright. Well, that could have gone better, that's for sure. $194. Not much, but still better than nothing. And I should have just recorded my progress there. Oh well. Record. And done. Alrighty then. Let's continue exploring the town, and hopefully we won't get mauled by even more zombies like a frickin' idiot. <laughs> Best way of shooting a- or taking care of a zombie is to shoot it in the head with a shotgun full of lead. And the best kind of shotgun are the ones that are filled with lead. The best kinds of shotgun. Oh, 
Okay, uh... Hmm, pray, what does this do? We'll try the... Hmm. Um, I don't even know what that did. If anyone has any ideas what that did, let me know in the comments. If I have to guess, maybe that kind of acts like a defense command or something. I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It seems as though Paula doesn't have very many useful spells right now, but, uh, at the very least, as we continue to make her stronger, and that's stronger as well, uh, she will realize more and more powers, and they'll become more and more awakened. Let's see, Paula leveled up again, her offense went up by 1, IQ by 1, maximum by 2, HP by 2, PP by 5, and that's it. Okay. HP and PP is always important. I'm not so sure about IQ. If I have to guess, that has something to do with the, your psychic stats. So... Ow! <laughs> so, whenever your IQ goes up, if I have to guess, that increases the power of your psychic attacks and psychic abilities. There's graffiti here. Just play it. Just play what? I really have no idea what it is they're talking about. Eh, let's check out the bakery. I haven't been here yet. Hello, may I help you? What shall I get you? Let's see. We have a cookie, bread roll, croissant, skip sandwich, lucky sandwich, can of fruit, and a cup of coffee. Alrighty. What the heck is this? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but would it be a good idea if you took a break? Um, no. Uh, yeah. No. Just no. Now's not the time for a break, dude. It's none of your business that we have a small house. Just keep all that whispering quiet out there. <laughs> eh, pretty funny. Let's see. What we got in here? A skip sandwich inside of a garbage can. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea to use and dig out of a freaking trash can. <laughs> oh, boy. Hello, you. That's right. There's a rumor that a monster called Belch is screwing up the town. Belch. That's a gross, twisted name, even for a monster. I agree. And I need a drink, because my throat is starting to kill me. <sighs> Whew, okay. Anyway, the tunnel to the right will lead to the desert, which I have to guess is going to be our next destination. But we're not going to be going there just yet. Instead, we're going to head to the hotel first, once again, so that way we can uh, record our progress one more time. And then we'll make our way to the graveyard, which I'm pretty sure that's going to be our destination where Belch is located. <laughs> Great name for a villain, by the way. And uh, here you go. Thanks for the $93. Record my progress, please. Thank you very much, and goodbye. But yeah, it seems as though, uh... It seems as though the graveyard is the most obvious place to check out first. Just gotta be careful when heading over here. Don't enter. Do not enter. Of course. <laughs> oh, look! I'm a badass! I've entered the graveyard! Woo! 
What's this? Oh, hello again. Thanks for the instant photo over at the freaking graveyard. <laughs> Great spot for a photo, huh? Seriously, though, why did you appear here? And how are you even able to appear out of thin air? <laughs> that guy is probably the most powerful creature in all of the universe. <laughs> even more powerful than the Buzz Buzz at the very beginning of the game. Eh. I mean, it just seems like he just appears out of nowhere and takes pictures all the time. But if I have to guess, what we have to do here is... We have to probably scan these tombstones or something. Oh, what's in here? A teddy bear. Nice. A free teddy bear in a garbage can. Hint shop realization. Oh, cool. There's a hint shop in there. So if we need to uh, figure out what we need to do next. Also, we have some strange monsters. We have a no good fly and a putrid moldy man. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ooh, it seems like the moldy man is pretty damn deadly. And wow, the teddy bear is already destroyed. God damn. Alright. Well, that was pretty easy. Granted, the teddy bear took all the hits. Paula is now level 11. Offense went up by 2, defense by 1, guts by 1, vitality by 1, luck by 1, maximum HP by 6, PP by 1, and realized the power of Psychic Freeze Beta. Nice! That's always really nice to see. Nice to see that uh, Paula is making some progress here. And it looks as though, uh, healing did absolutely nothing on me. Granted, maybe the crying effect only lasts for the battle and then it goes away? Then again, maybe it sticks around much like other status elements do. Who knows? Because I could have sworn I saw that text say it had no visible effect on Ness. Let's see here. No problem, no problem. No problem, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> it's filled with spooky ghosts and demons and zombies and lions and tigers. Oh my! <laughs> oh, God, I've been watching way too much Wizard of Oz. Even though that's not really the most appropriate of quotes to use for a place like this. Zombie po- Zombies, of course. Unleash psychic gaming and maybe even psychic fire. Yeah, let's go with this. Go for the front row. Ow! Fighting a miniature ghost? Okay, it seems as though the fire had no effect on ghosts. That's weird. Maybe I should try some other power. Try, uh... To enemy. Oh, great. Now Paula's crying. I don't even know what's going on with Ness right now. He has the ghost effect going on him. Perhaps... Oof. Well, Paula's dead again, and Ness is going to die, too. Yep, dead damn it. Killed by freaking ghosts. 
Well, there goes another $120. Actually, make that $240 because I have to heal again. And heal all my freaking pee-pee. And bring Paula back from the freaking grave. So, god damn it. <sighs> damn it all, man. Why does this have to be such a pain in the ass? It seems like, uh... When it comes to this game in particular, though there isn't much of a penalty for dying so much, it does uh, get pretty tiresome where you can only make like a couple of little itty bitty steps and then you die, go back to the previous save point, and then, uh, then you have to bring back your friends from the dead because they are not brought back with Ness whenever he gets back up on his feet. And then you have to go and rest at the hotel in order to recover your PP, which is frickin' stupid. Why can't PP be restored when uh, you're brought back from the grave? That is so frickin' dumb. Get away from me, you ass. Eh, he was gonna catch me anyway, so... It's not like that would've mattered all that much. Whew. Perhaps uh, before we head back to the graveyard, it may not be a bad idea to farm some of these uh, pumpkin kids. There we go. That's better. Everyone's back up on their feet again, at least. Still sucks that the frickin' zombies are so strong, but... Granted, zombies are supposed to be strong. Also, thank you for the $126. That was basically half of what I spent just trying to heal myself completely. Seriously, what the actual F? What's up with these high prices of uh, everything? And it's only going to get more and more expensive as we go on and continue to make our way through the game. I wonder how expensive it can truly become. Like, really? How expensive can it really... Also, that is complete bullshit. Complete other bullshit. Ugh, smelly ghost. And Paula's dead again. God damn it. You! God damn it, there goes another 120 goddamn dollars. And I only defeated one person, so uh, I only have enough frickin' money for the frickin' nap, and then I have to withdraw even more money now. That's so stupid. Yeah, it seems as though I am completely under-leveled for this place. And I really do not have much of a choice, but, uh... I have no choice but to grind for quite a long time until I'm able to get Paula up to level 20 and get Ness up even more. God damn it. It's like one step forward, two steps back. This is getting annoying. Like, come on, man. Can I stand a little bit of a chance here? A little bit? Uh, withdraw. Okay. I wonder if our father will be able to make up for what we just made. Yeah, basically. There... It's 120 right there. So, essentially that was 126. What I find really annoying with this game is judging solely on Paula 
uh, they come at level one as soon as they join the party. Like, they're only at level one, and so you have to grind your goddamn ass off in order to get them caught up with Ness, which is freaking stupid. Plus, it takes forever to grind with, uh, multiple characters all in the same party. If I have to guess, um, I think at some point we'll get so many party members that, uh, not everyone can participate in battle at once, and so we'll have to switch party members around. That's typically how it works within, uh, many RPGs. How you would get a bunch of party members, but you can't really use them until, uh, you can't really use them because you have too many on the field at once. That's what I meant. Okay, come on. Target Ness. Thank you. Ah, that's just great. Yeah, damn it. Really? You freaking missed? How do you miss? What I find really annoying is that, uh, um, what I find most annoying is that, uh, dying doesn't really bring back your dead party members. It only brings back Ness, which is so freaking dumb. So, once again, Paula's dead because she is completely, utterly useless. Perhaps with her, I need to use nothing but psychic attacks and pray to God that they actually do shit. Okay, level 22 for Ness at least. Offense went up by 2, IQ by 1, maximum HP by 2, PP by 1. Realize the power of psychic gaming beta. Nice. <laughs> um, the gaming is like your interest. So whatever your interest is by default, that's the name of the psychic spell. So that's cool. <sighs> Still annoys me to high heaven that Paula just keeps freaking dying. It's almost like playing a freaking Fire Emblem game and having to repeat a freaking chapter over and over again. Just because your favorite squishy keeps dying. And everyone is under level this crap. It's almost like playing Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. But everything is in super hard mode. Oh my god, really? Really? God damn it, I couldn't run. Okay, let's unleash this. Take that! Well, it seems as though Smiling Sam took an extra beating in order to kill him. Jesus. Wow, I hate this town. I hate it. <laughs> Hmm, what's... Hello there, Mystic Butterfly. Uh, I wish it would do more than just make Ness relax. Paula. $120. I'm not busy right now. Okay. Well, uh, I guess one thing you could probably do to make the grinding session go by a little bit faster is to intentionally kill Ness. But, uh, the problem is... Is that the AI tends to target weaker party members by default. So, what really sucks is that, uh, weak party members will not have much of a choice here other than to accept the beating. Accept it and accept the fact that they're going to die. 
over and over again. Okay. Let's try this crap again. But it seems as though the entire freaking cohort had to come in and completely wreck my face in. Um, let's try... Uh... Psychic Thunder. If Paula manages to live. Okay. Okay, at least this will help with eliminating multiple enemies at once. Try this. Here we go. Paula actually lived for once, and she's now level 12. Offense went up by 1, defense by 2, speed by 2, gets by 1, IQ by 2, maximum HP by 2. Alright! That rocks! Maximum PP went up by 9! Woo! Damn, Paula! That's one hell of a level up, that's for sure. <laughs> and it's about freaking time you received that too, so that's awesome. Let's see. I don't even know what this is. It's a spray. Insectable spray. Deals 100 points of damage to any bugs when used during combat. Gone after one use. Okay, so that's pretty nice. You can guarantee yourself 100 points worth of damage to the enemy after spraying it. Hello, who are you? He stares into your soul. He looks you over. Okay. Well, it seems as though that's where we gotta go to next. But, um, it seems as though our path is completely blocked off. Perhaps we'll need to find a way around. Or we may need to find something to, uh, cleanse them of, uh, their pain and suffering. Like a flashlight. Or a shotgun. Anything, really. Okay. Take this. Nice. So it seems that Paula is the stereotypical mage. So in order for her to be of any use, she needs to be able to unleash her psychic magic or psychic powers on uh, every enemy that she encounters. And Psychic Freeze seems to, uh, seems to be pretty dang effective on uh, all the enemies around here. Maybe that's their weakness, freezing. I don't even know how, but whatever. Alright, let's bash the good, no good fly. Alright, that was a bad idea. Burn and fire! Oof. There we go. At least that's done. 208 experience each, though. Not a lot of experience, but, uh... Oh, hi. Okay, well, at least we, uh, figured out where it is we need to go to next. And it seems as though our latest roadblock is, uh... Or just a bunch of zombies. Let's try this. Psychic Freeze Alpha! Okay. At least we didn't need to use Beta. Guess Beta was just unnecessary. I am wiping... I am a wimpy little guy, so I can't open the door. You know, it's scary. Yes, it is. It is kind of scary, but not really. 
You're awfully kind, uh, taking time out to talk to a mouse. The mouse loves you. This mouse loves you. <laughs> Cute. Hey, you don't look so happy. You better cheer up or you'll become a zombie. Some people have already become tools of the zombie. Huh. Ay! A zombie! I'm watching a zombie movie. Can you come by later? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I'm sorry, but I think you ought to leave now. I have no guarantee that you're not a zombie out looking for lunch. <laughs> uh, you're right, dude. And I don't blame you one bit. Baltimore greets you this evening. All is well. Good night. <laughs> Funny. Hmm, where does this lead? Nowhere. That's just a path to nowhere. Okay, let's check out the hint house. Maybe... Now, wait a minute, youngster. I could give you a great hint for just $60. You know what? Yes, I would like a hint. So, how you doing, kid? If you're tired, you should go to the hotel and rest. That's it for today. Really? Really? Okay. And I'm gonna rewind. Screw that. <sighs> All right. I did that so that way I could get back my money, no problem. Normally, I would not use that kind of feature for anything like that, but, uh... <laughs> this was one of those things where I kind of needed a good hit. And the asshole was like, yeah, you should go rest at a hotel. You look tired. It's like, really? Ugh. The actual F is that about? You can look at the chick in front of the hotel. Regardless of some of the people I've seen her hanging out with, I think I'd like to spend some time with her. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he wants to spend more than some time with her, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, maybe that hint was legitimate. Because it looks as though uh, the hotel attendant is gone. Whoa! Hello! Oh dear. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? Well, it looks as though we have been completely knocked out and thrown into some sort of mysterious dungeon. Well, thankfully, it seems as though uh, we still kept our money for the time being, and we have uh, full HP as well as PP, so the door is locked. Oh, dear. I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling out our friend who we've never met. Jeff! Jeff, we need your help! I'm Paula, and I'm with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. Oh, my. I wonder where Jeff could be. Winters, a small country to the north. Snowwood Boarding House. I am Paula, and I'm with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. 
Jeff, you are a friend who we've never met, but you are our one and only hope. Oh, okay, so at this time now, uh, we are now in control of Jeff. Jeff has his own uh, set of items. He has a big bottle rocket, boiled egg, ruler, a pro protractor, and a broken spray can. And he only has $2. Let's check out these things. Items for Jeff. Fires a fast, powerful bottle rocket. Going after one use. Boiled egg, eat when eaten, recover about 40 HP. Protractor, you can even use this during battle. Can be used many times. Ruler, okay. Broken spray can, a broken spray can. The genius Jeff should be able to fix it sometime. Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll be punished big time. W what's wrong, Jeff? All right. There must be some reason that I don't understand. I won't stop you. But it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. Hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I'll help you get out of here. Okay, so... Tony, uh, Jeff's roommate, joins us. If I have to guess, he's a temporary party member. Let's see. And that would be a yes. And once again, just like with Paula, Jeff starts at level 1. If I have to guess, uh, Tony, who is Jeff's friend, he's not going to be a very much help in battle either. Alrighty then. Let's check out this stuff. It's a cookie. Neat. Let's see, another cookie. Are these nothing but cookies? Jeff, I can't believe you could do something so nasty. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that is just uh, opening these presents without these people's consent. If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. Anyway, these days there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. Indeed. I believe ya. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. <laughs> I heard a more interesting story than a rumor about Tessie. It's about, a cave bo about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Maybe claim... Maybe claim... Blech. Many claim to have actually seen them. Interesting. I wonder if the rumor is true. That the center of Stonehenge has an entrance leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. Okay, you do that. You have fun being you. As for me, I'm going to continue to explore this place. Hello. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a later night for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. And Donuts were here. He'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's a he's greater than Einstein or Heinsberg. Rumor has it that rumor has it he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent though. Okay. Key to the locker. If you leave, call me and I'll uh, record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Thanks, man. And thank you for acting as our save beacon of sorts. Okay. This must be the locker room. Oh, 
All right. Key to locker. Key is bent and doesn't fit into the keyhole. All right. Let's try this one. Maybe this one? Okay, nothing works. And it's all because the key to the locker is just uh, completely bent to high heaven. I think you can get out by going over the gate, but you need some stuff to take with you. Yeah, I know what you mean. I kind of need things like a weapon or some armor anything really but it looks like I don't have much of anything to work with right now the only thing I have is just uh just my guts my wits and my fists okay I am aware I have to find some things that uh, I can use to get over the frickin' gate. <laughs> Nothing happened. Of course. Because I'm not really hovering over anything. Well now. It appears as though I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> eh, of course nothing happened. Okay then. Well, it appears as though uh, we're kind of stuck for the time being. The key I have is bent to high heaven and it doesn't look like there's much of anything I can do. The key didn't work, did it? I thought that might be the case, so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Bad key machine. If you are Dr. Andonet's son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Okay. Let's try it out. Nothing happened, of course. Dang it. Well, that kind of stunk. Oh, well. Let's try it on here. This would make more sense. Unfortunately, there's nothing in this locker. Okay, nothing in here. Hmm, a Holmes hat. Give me that. And uh, let's check out the machine. Nothing in this locker. Let's try the next one. Pop gun. Okay. I guess I'll just eat the cookie. Just so that way I have another spot I can uh, put my stuff in. Alright. Let's grab the pop gun. There, there we go. At least Jeff now has a proper weapon. Let's see what else we can find. A broken air gun in the locker. Of course. Okay. All right. Uh...
check out the broken air gun. What does it do? Broken air gun. The genius Jeff should be able to fix it, of course. Alrighty. Well, that's everything. That's everything that we were able to find in the locker, so only one thing left to do. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we are best friends forever. Thanks, Tony. Thank you so much for everything. Love you, man. <laughs> why did I say that? Okay. And with that, Jeff is now out of this area. However, there is the matter of the shop here. Hello. Key, key, yeah. <laughs> There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's real noisy. If you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he'll cost you a buck. So, do you want him? Um, sure. Oh, oh, you can't carry anything else. All right. How about the ATM? Please insert your ATM card. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and buy the cookie from me. What do you also have for sale? Ooh, T-Rex's bat, non-stick frying pan. Coin of Silence for $2,500. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. And I think I will uh, sell this other cookie here. Okay. Monkey's yours. Jeff got a pack of bubble gum. Kiki! Give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of bubble gum from Jeff and blew a bubble. <laughs> Neat. The bubble monkey joins us. Awesome. And it looks as though uh, the monkey is not going to be much of uh, any, well, any major use here. He may act as like a secondary target or something. Who knows? Yes, record my journey up to this point, please. Continue. Okay. That's cool. And so with that... Oh, hello. It looks as though the monkey gets confused rather easily, even if you're walking down a straight path. <laughs> so if the monkey happens to get away from you, he can uh, you can just stop moving, and all right, cool, awesome. So if you stop moving, uh, the monkey should be able to catch up no problem. Let's see. Bread roll. Cool. And level 2 for Jeff. His offense went up by 1, maximum HP by 1, and wow, what a lame level up. <laughs> if that was Fire Emblem, then that unit would be going into the trash basically forever. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as saying getting no level up whatsoever. Oh my. Let's spy on it. Ramp. Oof. Okay, offense is 8, defense is 23. Vulnerable to psychic fire and freeze. Okay, so spy essentially uh, scans the enemy. So that's pretty nice. It'll be even better once we can, uh, once Jeff can reunite with Ness as well as Paula. 
All right, 20 more experience, and we are now level three. Defense went up by one, IQ by one, HP by three. Okay, that was pretty nice. Okay. Hmm. What a strange looking tent. Let's check it out. There we go. The tame animals have become wild. Something evil is going on. Well, no kidding. So why don't you have a rest here for a short while? Have something to drink? Perhaps some tea? Sure. Are you feeling much better now? Good luck. Thank you. Okay, that's pretty cool. So for this segment of the game, since we're playing as Jeff alone, um, anytime we go to this tent, we can uh, go and rest up and fully heal ourselves. So that's neat. Okay, so what the monkey will actually do, he will help out in battle. He doesn't act as a secondary target. He more or less uh, hangs around and will fight any enemies. Granted, it won't deal very much damage to an enemy, but it will uh, still try to fight the enemy and deal some damage. It won't be much, but it's better than nothing. Cool. Another cookie. Can always use the cookies. More and more cookies. Cookies are just the best. Speaking of cookies, what kind of cookies are your favorites? My favorite kind of cookie is the peanut butter chocolate chip or just peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter cookies are my favorites. Next would be chocolate chip, then sugar. Mmm, man, that's good. I could go for some cookies right about now. I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. I feel like I'm catching a cold. Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. Hmm. I wonder if that's supposed to be a nod to Nessie, one of the urban legends in the world. If I find Tessie, do you think I'll get in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. Well, technically speaking, that's more like five seconds of fame nowadays. And record my progress, please. I seriously wonder how this telephone has any sort of reception out here. Hell, how can it even be used? It's one of those old ro rotary telephones that needs to be connected to some sort of landline in order to be used at all. Why the hell is it even usable here? My cute little monkey, would you like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. <laughs> well, this one does. You're right. We're here at Lake Tess, waiting to see Tessie. We're known as the Tessie Watching Club. I wonder what will happen when you do see Tessie. Are you going to try to record it and take pictures? It's possible. I'm the cook for the Tessie Watching Club. How about some stew? Sure. No, no, there's no need to pay me. You, you are a friend who I have never met before. Jeff, head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray, spray can became the defense spray. Nice. So it seems as though uh, whenever Jeff rests, there's a chance that he can uh, repair something that's in your inventory. Whatever's broken, he'll fix. Let's check out the defense spray. It increases one of your friend's defense during battle. It is most effective if you use the power multiple times to layer the effect. Gone after one use. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's go. And so daybreak emerges. And uh, due to the weather changing, it seems as though uh, things are a bit more lively now. So that's pretty nice. Hello, douche. How you doing? Let's smack him. <laughs> Okay. 
Well, at least the good news is, despite Jeff uh, being at level 1, uh, some of the enemies here are uh, pretty easy to take out. They're easy enemies. That's to be expected since, uh, um, oh, I don't know, we're, we're kind of in a bind here. Also, that was sweet. Thanks, monkey. <laughs> oh. It seems as though uh, the monkey can help out with surprise attacks. If it approaches an enemy from behind, it will help with uh, being able to take the enemy by surprise and uh, get the upper hand immediately in battle. So that's pretty nice. And that's one big advantage for uh, having the monkey join you on your journey. That's awesome. Plus, he's pretty cheap, too, at only a dollar. So, definitely worth picking him up. Alright, level four. Oh, baby! Offense went up by three, defense by one, speed by two, guts by two, IQ by one, luck by two, maximum HP by one. There we go. That was awesome. Oh, hello. How did we get an advantage? How did we get advantage uh, by ramming into the ram? Seriously, what the hell? Also, it's a goat, not a ram. Different species, but a part of the same family nonetheless. Still, though, how did that happen? I have no idea. Either way, that was pretty sweet. Okay, let's get back to it, folks. Oof. Although, uh, now that I noticed, uh, this, though the monkey can be useful, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't always attack. Alright, level 5 already. Vitality went up by 1, IQ by 1, maximum, maximum HP by 10. Wow, that is awesome. Really, really awesome to see. Okay. Now then, to figure out where it is that we have to go, um, I'm pretty sure we have to... Pretty sure we have to head up towards the left-hand side of this place. It's gonna be a bit of a long trek, but it will be worth it soon enough. Bye bye, runaway dog. You may have gotten the jump on me, but joke's on you. Joke's on you. Okay. Hmm. Okay then. It appears as though uh, I can't really do much of anything right now. I basically went all the way back the way I came, and yet, uh, I wasn't able to find much of anything. Maybe I missed something towards the southern quadrant, towards the tents, where they were, where I was previously. It's always possible that is the case. Oof. 11 HP? Well, that's not good. Did not mean to select that. Oof. Too close. At least the thing is, uh, whenever we're fighting these uh, goats here, they do uh, give you a good chunk of experience. Nice.
it would be nice uh, just being able to get past these guys and uh, just run right past them, no problem. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Ooh, another bread roll. I like that. Thank you. It seems uh, from my observations, uh, Jeff, unlike the other characters whom we met up to this point so far, he does not have any PP and uh, he has no psychic abilities or psychic powers whatsoever. That does make sense, but at the same time, uh, that does kind of suck. But given the fact that he doesn't have any psychic abilities doesn't make him useless. I mean, hello, look at Batman. He doesn't have any superpowers, and yet he has a truckload of money, and he fights crime anyway. He really fights them because uh, of his dead parents and everything. Hello, what is this? Pictures taken instantaneously. Hello, my dude. Fussy pickles. Wow. <laughs> Uh, he didn't even pose. Really, dude? Let's see here. Perhaps I can do something. Pack of gum. This is the balloon monkey's favorite. It will not help you recover, but you'll also never run out because it's super jumbo pack. <laughs> Okay. Well then. Unfortunately, it looks like we're kind of stuck here. Can't move south anymore. Can't go any further south. It looks like this place has no way out. I wish I had a map. That way I could have a better look at this place. But it doesn't look like I have much of a choice here. I gotta find something in order to figure out where it is I'm supposed to go. Okay, maybe uh, sleeping here again will change it to nighttime. No, it didn't. Of course it didn't. Uh. Excuse me. Now that I think about it, maybe the wind is supposed to signify you. Give me some gum now. I'll take care of everything. Okay. Oh, look. It's Tessie. And it looks a lot like Dory from the Mario series. It looks kind of cute. So adorable. And look at that. It looks like it wants to give us a ride. Just like Dory. <laughs> In fact, how about I name you Dorothy or Dory? Yeah, Dory. That sounds like a good name to give uh, a creature such as you. And yeah, that was exactly what I was missing. I needed to head over to this spot uh, while the wind was blowing. Alright, let's head on out of here now. <sighs> Ugh, seriously, screw this chair. Thanks for the ride, dude. Catch you later. I hope we get to meet again someday. That would be awesome. What an awesome sea creature. Kind of wish they would exist in real life, but then again, people would probably hunt them down to extinction due to their unique characteristics. Who knows? <laughs> uh, the world can be a cruel place but also a fascinating place, too. 
Okay. Let's try the ruler. Now I can figure out what? I have no idea. Ooh. Well, that was definitely something. Enemy left a present. Another salt packet. Neat. I like salt packets. And another ma magical pencil. This dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in! <laughs> That's funny. Welcome to my modest dungeon. Brick Road. Wow. <laughs> what a strange dungeon indeed. It seems as though this place is built like a maze and it's filled with mice that will more than likely crit me to death. Hopefully we can kill him fairly quickly. Yep, I knew he was going to do that too. I have such a high crit rate, their crit rate is unbelievable. Like, 90%. Oof. Didn't taste very good. <laughs> 26 HP. Yeah, you shouldn't put salt on your bread. You really, really shouldn't. All right, level six now. Offense went up by one, defense by one, IQ by one, maximum HP by one. Wow, okay. Better than nothing, but still. Hmm. Neat, another bread roll. I'll go ahead and eat this. Seriously, why is this music so freaking strange? And what the heck? A worthless uh, protoplasm. I don't even know what this thing is. But whatever it is, it's kind of creepy. Um, let's try the protactor. Now I can fairly easily figure out what I don't even know what this thing it what those things even do it seems as though it makes it so you're able to figure things out more easily it I don't even know hmm, a cookie nice Okay, want to know something even stranger? Looks like we have a duck down here. It's a mad duck. <laughs> I mean, what can they do exactly? I mean, sure, their beaks can be a bit annoying. And I think they do have ridges to act as teeth. So it can hurt if a duck bites you. But ducks are normally not aggressive whatsoever. So the only way to piss off a duck really is uh, by messing with it or its kin. AKA the ducklings, which you should not do anyway. <laughs> eh. All right, another present, fresh egg, nice. It seems as though whenever your PP is marked with an X, that means that you can't use it, charge it, or do anything with it. And it seems to only be effective for the battle or until you get rid of the status element. Alright, let's go ahead and use this cookie. More spray, eh? Deals 100 points of damage to any bugs. Cool. So next time we encounter bugs with uh, Jeff here, 
at least uh, he'll be able to uh, deal plenty of damage to the bugs and he can uh, move on his merry way. Okay, let's see. Broken iron. Uh, excuse me. Let's see. A contraption that looks like an iron. That genius Jeff should be able to fix it. Of course. I mean, if he wouldn't be able to fix it, then uh, what good is having a mad genius in your party? <laughs> I find it funny how uh, the mad ducks just look so weird. Watch out for falling... Well, there. Falling materials. Brick road. Pictures taken instantaneously once again. <laughs> Hi, maggots. I'm Popo. <laughs> uh, of course. Alrighty then. That was a bit weird. But hey, the entire game is weird, so it's to be expected. Okay, so yeah, that's exactly what it does. It prevents you from using your PP, pee -pee and you're not able to use your psychic attacks if you happen to have any. Psychic attacks, defense, etc. So that's pretty interesting. And good to know, especially considering the fact that Paula needs PP pee -pee to be able to be of any use. Also, croissant. I like that. Croissants are actually pretty good. They honestly are. Just give them some nice butter. Maybe stick a butter knife inside of it. Spread some butter or margin, margarine inside. Take a nice big bite and bada bing bada boom. You got yourself a pretty tasty treat. Croissants go pretty dang well with uh, just about any dish. So... That's pretty nice to see. Also, 17 more experience. Hmm. Let's eat it. There we go. I thought I heard a bird. Oh, dear. Ah, that chirping was the chick. Okay, then. Okay. Um, let's try the big bottle. Actually, maybe I should save that for later. Right now, I'm just going to continue to shoot this mouse. And hopefully, it won't uh, do that all the time. This high crit percentage and crap. Thankfully, though, uh, if it doesn't crit you, which is pretty rare, it only deals, like, one damage. So, that's pretty nice. Let's see. Jeff is now level 7. And with that, his offense went up by 1, IQ by 1, maximum HP by 1, and that's it. Pretty lame level up. Hmm, stun gun. Stun gun. I can equip the weapon. Nice! And it changes my uh, offense from 24 to 32. Oh yeah. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome to see. Chick. A chick that just hatched. I don't even know what good of use it'll be. Also, there's a telephone here. Why in God's name is there a telephone, let alone a working telephone, or more or less, a working rotary telephone in a cave? This is coming from a game that has mad ducks that attack and beat the shit out of you, as well as other weird and creepy things. So... I don't get it. 
Way to go! Please come back again. Brick Road. Maybe it was too easy. My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Andonut's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man! The first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I have become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Yes, please. Especially after that little dungeon run. Take care, please come back again. Will do, my man, will do. <laughs> Someday, though not today. All right, next stop is this cave. At least for now, uh, though the enemies will get more and more difficult as we make our way through the cave here, much like uh, with how Ness had to deal with a lot of uh, pretty difficult enemies. At least uh, we have several places where we can go to... Uh, fully heal ourselves and do it for free and also a save point back at the brick maze. So, that's pretty nice. That way we don't have to make a really, really long trek all the way back to where we once were. And it doesn't last 10 million years. Hello, mouse. You ugly thing. There we go. He gets done. Okay, what we got in here? A hamburger. Oh. <laughs> of course. Alrighty then. Um, What should I get rid of? I guess... I will... Uh... I'll just eat it. I know that's a bit of a waste, but, uh, kind of wanted to make room for the hamburger. I know it seems kind of weird, but, uh, sometimes you gotta make room for things in the most unconventional way possible. I'm gonna take care of the mouse first, since it does have a chance, or a high chance, to do critical damage. And it does that, like, roughly 90% of the time, and then my internet decided to take a shit. And we're at level 8, folks. Jeff is at level 8. Offense went up by 1, defense by 2, speed by 2, guts by 2, vitality by 1, IQ by 1, luck by 1, maximum HP by 13, and that's it. Okay, Internet, come on. Come on. Get back to where you were. You can do it. You can do it. Well, looks like the chick has turned into a chicken already. <laughs> That's pretty neat. And also pretty dang cute. Seriously, why does it seem like my Internet just loves falling apart throughout these streams? Maybe it's because the bitrate I chose is, like, uh, fluctuating all over the place. I am streaming at 4,500, uh, 4,500 bitrate. And so, uh, they may be pushing my internet a little bit too hard. But, I kind of have to stream it this way if I want to do 1080p60. So, yeah, that kind of stinks. It's not like I had much of a choice here. Of course, I can always go back to doing 720p rather than uh, 1080p and do that at 60fps as well. But, uh, I kind of want to try to upgrade my streaming setup as much as humanly possible. And I feel like the biggest thing that I need to upgrade next is going to be my bandwidth. But, uh, unfortunately, uh, we're kind of struggling as is with our finances, and so upgrading my bandwidth and my internet speeds is just simply not an option. It's already way too much as is. 
but at least for what we get it is pretty reliable so there's always that hmm. a rope we also have mushrooms over here and it looks like uh, some diamonds too All right, let's take care of some evil mushrooms now. There we go. At least at this point, Jeff is still uh, pretty damn uh, powerful and is able to hold his own. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave the cookie behind. And Jeff is now level 9. IQ went up by 1, maximum HP by 2. Wow. Wow. Pretty lame level up, but whatever. All right, bottle rocket inside. Already got too much stuff though. That sucks. Uh, let's see. I don't want to get rid of the hamburger just yet, but it's not like I really have uh, any choice in the matter. I can always get rid of this. That way I can uh, get another one. Here we go. I seriously wonder how it is that these mushrooms even got over here. There was no evil mushrooms before and yet uh, now they decide to show up. Oh, shit! Damn it! Well, Jeff's dead. Jeff, it looks like you got your head, head handed to you. How about giving it another shot? Yes, please. Jeff decided to return after summoning all the courage and energy he had. Good luck. So, basically the same exact sequence as uh, if Ness and his party would die. Thankfully, though, uh, the monkey stays with us. Okay. Yeah, let me rest, please. Thank you. Actually, since Jeff doesn't have any PP, pee -pee, uh, it may not have been necessary to do that. Oh, well. I guess I just did it out of a force of habit. I'm so used to doing that with Ness and his party that I kind of did it with Jeff too. So, whoops. At least I'll remember that for next time. There we are. Okay, what is up with the, these narrow corridors and not being able to get through? It seems as though, uh, occasionally, uh, occasionally Jeff and, uh, basically anyone can get stuck super easily on, uh, different pieces of the environment. One thing I've always kind of, kind of wondered when it comes to this game in particular, why is it that the battle screens have these weird, uh, collage like uh textures just constantly flowing around just going ooh, doing the wavy like effect i'm pretty sure that's part of the game's aesthetic but even so still kind of weird if you ask me and there we go more slugs destroyed Come on, monkey. Let's go. <sighs> Come on. Stuck again? I hate that crap. Really, dude? It seems as though the mushrooms themselves can be quite a pain in the butt. <sighs> really? All right, level 10. Offense went up by two, IQ by one, HP by one. Awesome. 
At least Jeff is that much closer to reaching uh, Ness's level, which is like roughly, I think, level 22 or 23. Either way, though, at least Jeff is a lot better off than, say, uh, Paula, because holy crap, she is so far behind in levels that it's not even funny. And my god, I am basically on death's doorstep. Okay. Do I have anything at all? Hamburger. That's better. Oh, glad that's taken care of. Ooh, a cheap bracelet. I could probably go ahead and equip that. Yes, I can. Any defense is better than no defense, that's for sure. Alrighty then. Well, it seems as though we're kind of stuck for the time being. Ow. Phew. Okay, at least they're down and out. Hmm. Question is, uh, at this point now, how am I supposed to get up there? Um, let's see here. I don't think I have anything of use, really. what I had to do. That was just a shitty guess, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but I'm glad I managed to figure it out. So if something looks out of reach, use your monkey friend to pull you through. Also sweet. Hmm, what's over here? Hello! Now she's my type! I think I'll ask her for a date. Oh, how cute. Well, for the time being, it looks as though uh, the monkey is going to be gone for a while. Okay, boy, eh? Ow. It looks as though the cave boy, he does have quite a bit of uh, HP, but it looks like he doesn't have very much accuracy. But when he does uh, manage to hit ya, ooh man, he hits like a truck. 618 experience and the present. Picnic lunch. Um, I'm going to have to throw something away then. Um, I think I'm going to have to throw away the... I think I'm going to throw away the defense spray. Yeah. Alright, level 11. Guts went up by one, luck by one, back some HP by one. And that's a double level up. Holy crap. Oh, baby. Offense went up by four. Defense went up by two. Speed by three. Vitality by two. IQ by two. Sweet. Maximum HP went up by 26. That was one hell of a level up. That's for sure. Let's see what this will do. When eaten, you recover about 80 HP. There's even a slice of your favorite cake. I want it. And there we go. Jeff is now fully recovered. So that's awesome to see. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are ma marking a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. <laughs> that's pretty neat. 
I noticed a sparkling star in this room. Perhaps there's something of uh, importance over here. Only Ness can absorb the power in this place. Huh. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to interact with that even if I wanted to. So that's pretty interesting. Get away from me, caveman. Okay. Wow, a lab. Let's check it out. Hello. Hello there, Professor. Mr. Brookrow, the dungeon maker, referred to you, right? And not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I can't, I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe 10 years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Um, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Sure. While I was only offering, I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Um, kind of. Well, at least I asked. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a face dis distorter that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Sky Runner. It's a bit odd, old, but it'll certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The road machine, the round machine over there is the Sky Runner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's go together again in 10 years or so. <laughs> Sounds fun. But before I hop in, um, that's cute. E equals MC squared. <laughs> uh. Let's see what's in here. A broken pipe. Not much of any use right now. Looks like a busted water pipe. Okay. Should be able to fix it. So that's pretty cool. Instant revitalizing device. In only a few seconds, this machine fully revitalizes you. Just like a good night's sleep. Sweet. That's awesome. Let's check out the UFO now. No problem. Okay then. Well then. That machine that the doctor was talking about. Um... I don't even know what the machine was. Was it the revitalization machine? Because I don't think that was it. Dang it, man. Game, you are not helping me. Okay. Ah, that's how I needed to enter walk into it. Let's head off to Great Adventure! What happened? It's not moving! Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? And off we go! To infinity and beyond! Wow, what a view. Pretty nice view from way up here in the sky. I wonder where we're heading. This looks like Foresight. If I have to guess, that's the name of this town here because Foresight is considered a really big city. Maybe, maybe it's called uh, Fivesies. <laughs> I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. And this must be the desert region. Judging by all the skulls and bones and the oasis. Hey, monkey! All right.
Okay, I think we're just about at our destination, folks. Here we are. We're finally back in the uh, 3Z. Or whatever the frick it is. Welcome to the circus. <laughs> We're finally back where we need to be. Now then. It's up to Jeff to save Ness and Paula. Now we just need to figure out where... Where it is we need to land. Is this going to continue to do this? Until, uh, eventually I push a button to land? Ah, here we go. Wow, that was funny. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. The Skyrunner. I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Sure thing. All right, let's get back to the journey then. And with that, Jeff has joined the Big Fat DK Crew. <laughs> Jeff has joined Ness and Company and is our newest party member. So that is awesome. And Jeff, of course, still has a ton of stuff. Of course. It's impossible to fix for the time being. <laughs> I wonder if we'll be back here again later on in the game. Well, unfortunately, the door is still locked. So there's still the matter of trying to get the hell out of here. Perhaps there's another thing I could try to do. <laughs> Let me try the broken pipe. Nothing happened, of course. Uh, bottle rocket? Bottle rocket can't be used here. That would make sense. Although, this still doesn't help the fact that we're still locked in and there's no way of getting out. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Shoot. I seriously have no idea how this was supposed to escape this area. Jeff kinda screwed up. You done screwed it up, Jeff. You were supposed to come from the other side to unlock the frickin' door. But... He had a little bit of a problem and did a little crash landing. So... Unfortunately, it's not like we can go anywhere at all. The door is locked still. And really, we only have one more prisoner added to the frickin' pile here made for zombie food. Crap baskets. There's got to be something I can do. Now we can figure out the length of things easily. Okay, so that's basically what that does. Let's see. Can I give him anything? 
No, I can't. Okay. Ah, here we go. Let's try this. There we go. Who knew it was that easy? Just use the bad key machine and it'll open basically any locked door. <laughs> wow, I'm an idiot. Well, anyway. At least that's finally done and over with. Now we can finally progress. All right. Here we are. Hmm. Okay. Well, at least now, uh, now that Jeff is in our party, I have a feeling that, uh, that the maximum number of party members we can have in the whole party is four. Anywho, Paula is now level 13. Maximum HP went up by three. And that's it. Wow, that is lame. And it looks like now we can f actually fight ghosts. Hmm. And Jeff leveled up too. Level 13 for him. Guts went up by one. Maximum HP by two. Gotta say, that's a pretty impressive level up, that's for sure. Alright. Well, I'm definitely happy that we managed to progress quite a bit. And we actually know what it is that we're doing now and how to go about doing it. Alright, let's call Dad. Who a grand $30. Thank you very much. Yes, record my data. All right. Well, one thing I'm definitely going to do right now is I am going to go ahead and uh, not withdraw, but instead deposit. Deposit some cash that I have in my pocket. The reason why I did that is so that way when uh, if I end up dying again, which is very likely, um, I won't lose that much money. Anywho, uh, let's see if we can buy anything for Jeff here at the drugstore. Definitely a hard hat and a copper bracelet. <coughs> Ugh. Excuse me. Okay, 298 plus 349. Let's see here. Okay, that's the wrong amount. 298 plus 349 equals 647. So, I'm just going to go ahead and withdraw $700. Wow, that uh, deposit we made was completely pointless. Alright, let's go ahead and buy the hard hat. No. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I'll go ahead and uh, sell something that Jeff has. And that would be the pop gun. Yes. Thank you very much. And that would be Jeff. Yes, thank you, and let's go ahead and buy the copper bracelet for good old Jeff. Hmm. 
Yes. 29 to 34. One thing I really do like about this game is that uh, whenever you're shopping and you buy something and you choose to equip the new item, you uh, are asked if you want to sell the previous item that you had. Which is uh, honestly not a bad idea to do, unless that item is technically stronger. Okay. Alrighty then, I think we're fully prepared and ready to go, so let's get ready to do this thing. What the heck is this? Oh, it's just a rock. <laughs> I thought it was some sort of a uh, picnic basket covered with sheets. No idea. But anywho, at least that's now done. Now let's deal with these buttholes. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. Let's see, is there anything I can use? Okay, it doesn't look like I can do much of anything over here right now. That stinks. All right. Well, that was kind of lame. I honestly thought that uh, I would be able to... I honestly thought I would uh, be able to do something kind of productive. Let's uh, spy on the smelly ghost. Smelly Ghost Offense is 25, Defense 89, Vulnerable to Sci Fire, Flash, and Paralysis. Interesting. Oh, of course, it called for more reinforcements. Oof. ghost around Paula. I wonder what that's about. I don't even know what that's supposed to do exactly. But whatever it does, it seems as though uh, it's not that effective. Maybe it makes it so uh, the person inflicted with that status is scared and so it makes it so uh, they are not able to move. Yeah. That seems about right. Alright, let's go. Okay, so it seems that the healing ability does not uh, cure the ghost status or whatever the heck it is. So that's pretty interesting. Mm, sounds like someone's defense went down quite a bit. I'm pretty sure it was Paula. There we go. Damn. Melted into the air. <laughs> Hilarious. Alright, Jeff is now level 14. His IQ went up by 1, luck by 1, maximum HP by 3. Nice. Let's see. Okay, so the miniature ghost icon means the character is possessed. So that's pretty interesting. I really don't know how to get rid of uh, any sort of possession. We kind of need an exorcist here 
to bless us by the power of Christ. <laughs> uh, pretty sure that's what that's what needs to be done in order to get rid of it. That or it just goes away over time as the battles rage rage on. Or the character needs to die. That can work too. Okay. Um, there is one other thing that is worth noting, and that is, at this point, uh, or no, one thing that is worth noting is, damn it, what am I trying to say here? Oh yeah, I can only stream until 4.30 today because mom has some things that she needs to do. And, yeah, just figure I'd throw that out there. This may not be relevant for the YouTube version of this, but for the stream itself, it's worth mentioning. Hmm, 75 damage. Okay, let's see. 27 offense, 25 defense, side fire, side flash. Okay. So it seems that fire is super effective against these things, which does make sense because he is a freaking uh, puppet. It's a puppet. 174 experience each. Ness is now level 23. His offense went up by two, gets by one, max HP by three. Awesome. Hmm. Still, though, I kind of would like a hint as to where to go to next. Although that hint does cost a bit of money, like 60 freaking dollars to, uh... A six, it's 60 dollars for a hint. And of course, once you learn that hint, you can, uh... Once you have the hint, you can always, uh... Hit the reset button on the SNES Classic and just rewind to the point just before you spent the money on the hint. So that way, uh, you essentially got the hint for free. That's pretty nice and it's also considered cheating. And another way you could always look up uh, what I need to do. I can always look up what I need to do next by means of uh, just simply looking things up on the internet. <laughs> Seems like a simple plan. Okay, um, withdraw. There we go. A hundred and eighty dollars now? Seriously? <laughs> Screw you! Always, whenever I do anything, anything at all, making any sort of progress means that the hotel prices go through the goddamn roof. Working through the night, Jeff fixed a broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. Nice. Let's check it out. What does it do exactly? Slime generator. Items for Jeff. Sprays a sticky substance that stops the enemy from moving. Can be used many times. Sweet. Well, at least that's something else that Jeff can use. Okay, uh... Two human kids escape by somehow opening their cage. Is that really it? <laughs> oh my! Looks like someone's Sherlock Holmes in disguise. <laughs> also, thanks for the money, dude. Basically, it 
got the uh, money I spent right back. And looking at the time here, it is 4 o'clock right now, and I've been going on for almost 3 hours. Technically, 2 hours and 46 minutes. Also, screw you, game. Really, dude? Ugh, that's just stupid. Burn, you stupid frickin' puppet. Too bad the auto fight doesn't allow Paula to automatically select uh, moves that are super effective against him. And it looks like uh, poor, old, poor old Ness is fast asleep right now. Come on, really? There we go. At least that's done. More than 11 experience each, and Paula is now level 14. Awesome. Offense went up by 1, speed by 1, maximum HP by 3, maximum PP by 2, and that is it. So, from what I've noticed, it seems that some status elements uh, inflicted on your party remain after the battle, and some of them go away after the battle. So, that is uh, pretty neat. Pretty nice knowing that uh, some effects just uh, go away after a while. Let's see, can I fix this now? No, I can't. Hmm. Now I kind of wish I had enough money to buy the next hint. <laughs> eh, dang it. I wonder if the prices went up for the hint house. Okay, no. Alrighty then. But yeah. I really have no idea what it is I need to do next. Thankfully, the hint system in this game, though expensive it may be, at least it does provide some legitimate information. Remember earlier when I said that the last hint I received was kind of useless? Well, as it turned out, that was what I had to do next. <laughs> so, I guess I really should not... Uh, Dismiss hints as anything more than, uh, anything more than, uh, useless bits of information. Sure, it's a bit of a waste of money, but, hey, still better than nothing. Magic Butterfly made Ness and his friends relax. Although, uh, Paula is still possessed. <laughs> I seriously how long this is going to take before it finally goes away. Which I don't even know if it's going to be happening anytime soon. Which is unfortunate. Oh well. Give me my hint, my dude. Yes, please. Do you know about that mysterious tent that appeared at the south end of town? I don't know, but it kind of looks kind of strange. That's it for today. Okay. So, our next destination is going to be the circus tent, I think. I think that's the tent that needs to uh, be investigated. If it's not, then uh, there's probably another tent at the lower portion of town. Judging by the way people ran inside... This is probably it. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are much more scary. 
<laughs> I left my wife and kids at home to escape to this tent. That's how scary the zombies are. You're a horrible man. Frankly, I'm running scared. I don't mean that I actually run around. I just mean I am frightened. Conditions in this town are getting worse. I believe it. Okay. Okay, so uh, it appears that the circus tent was not what I need to investigate. Instead, it's down here. What a strange looking place. Oh, come on. Seriously? I got freaking bugs. It's goofy. They put bugs in him. <laughs> Uh, if you want to know what I was bringing up, it, I was uh, mentioning uh, a quote from uh, a YouTube video known as, so this is basically Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> and it's really hilarious. You should definitely check it out sometime. Take that! Okay, offense 23, defense 13, vulnerable to fire, freeze, and paralysis. And susceptible to brain shock. And there we go. Alright, Jeff is now level 15. His defense went up by 1, IQ by 1, maximum HP by 2. Awesome. Okay, let's check out this tent now. Whoa! Whoa, that is creepy AF. It is known as the Boogie Tent. <laughs> what a creepy looking tent. He truly is a creeper. Get a load of this. Let's try this and spy on the Boogie Tent. Nineteen HP. Hundred and eighty two damage. Hmm. It looks like uh Jeff was not able to spy on the enemy. That's weird. Uh let's try fire. And spy. Hmm. 97 damage. That's way better. Let's see. Offense 43, defense 78. Vulnerable to fire. Yeah. That's awesome. At least now I know that the fire is super effective against this thing. Okay. Let's try the slime generator. Hmm. I think the side effect. The side effect or psychic effect that was going on with us. Whether it were buffs or def buffs. No. I think what happened was. Uh, he inflicted an ability that removes all of our status buffs if we received any. So. Yeah, that's the thing. So, for example, if you used, like, Psychic Shield, then that would have been removed. However, since we didn't have anything of the sort going on, um, it basically did nothing. I kind of wish that auto battle would also go with your most recent actions. There we go. Boogie Tent is down. Ness and friends gained 1,834 experience each. I wonder if this is enough for a level up for anyone. That's a yes. Paula is now level 15. Oh baby, her off offense went up by 3, speed by 1, guts by 1, IQ by 1, 
Lunch, lunch, what? Luck by two, maximum HP by one, maximum PP by three. And she realized the power of Psy Magnet Alpha. Jeff is all, has also received a level up and is now level 16. His offense went up by two, defense by one, guts by two. Oh baby, his IQ went up by three, luck by one, maximum HP by three, and that's it. What's in here? Let's see. It's a jar of fly honey. I wonder what that's about. Help. Jar of fly honey. Belch's most favorite food in the whole world. However, it smells really, really nasty. We're talking major stinkage here. Okay. So, uh... I think with this, we'll finally be able to head deep underground and uh, possibly even face uh, Belch and finally rid this town of uh, evil. <laughs> the hell? This is Apple Kid. Just wanted to let you know I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it'll help you or not. It's called zombie paper and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like fly paper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? And then the zombie gets stuck on, stuck to the paper. When they move around inside the tent, you can catch a lot of zombies that way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just want... I just asked the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Ness. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper will be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Awesome! It's really great to see that uh, we're getting something a lot more useful. While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Ness, who was wandering around Threed. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello, Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Ness, no matter what. What? Alright, zombie paper. That's right, Ness. I wink, wink. <laughs> I've done my duty and given you Apple Kids a uh, thingamajig. Well, goodbye. Thanks for the delivery, my dude. Thank you very much. Alrighty then. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a withdrawal. So that way... That way we can fully heal everyone. At least for now. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken air gun. After being fixed, the broken air gun became the Magnum air gun. Awesome. Let's check it out. Uh, where is it though? Here we go. Magnum air gun. Jeff can equip the weapon. Awesome. And it's probably even stronger than the other one. Oh yeah. Gimme. Okay, well, at this point, I have reached the... Uh... What the hell? Hello, it's your daddy. You've been out there for quite a long time now. Uh... Yeah, that would be a good idea, but I don't want to stop here necessarily at this very spot, because I have a feeling if I do choose to stop, then I would uh, be forced to reset. And that's not something I really want to do. But, I am going to go ahead and call the stream here. It is getting kind of late. I would only have, like, roughly 15 minutes left. I'm at the three-hour mark. And now I think would be a good time to call it a day. And the reason why is so that way the next time I stream this game 
will finally rid this town of the zombie apocalypse that has been plaguing the town since ever. So, yeah. We're done here for today. This is General Snivy with the Earthbound P Blind Playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you were able to attend the live stream live, thank you for attending. Next time, we're going to be ridding this town of the zombies that are plaguing this place. And we'll be figuring out what it is we need to do from here on out. I mean, then we'll figure out what we need to do from there. Anywho, thank you. Blech. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. My brain is broken. I cannot English anymore. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time.